I'm a resident of uh, Dolphin County. Um, I am in favor of marijuana for medically assisted treatment. I am not sure, I don't have a stance yet as far as legalizing recreational marijuana. Yes, I'm in the middle. Um, I have a niece who uh, was born with sickle cell. Um, she, over the last uh, year, just recently started using marijuana um, for medically assisted treatment for her pain management, and we see a drastic change in how she deals with her pain now with having sickle cell. For the positive. For the positive, for the positive. yes. Yeah, she, since uh, being a young child, she was put on opioids as per pain management. And um, thankfully, her mother was able to switch over, and we have seen positive changes in the way her pain is managed. Um, just quickly, three points, try to make it brief. Um, I'm a social worker. I'm also an advocate and worker for children and families. I know this is more in regards to adult recreational use, but I also see some things that could possibly come along the lines of, you know, affect, well, not affecting, but some things I've thought about with children and families. And just um, three things I would like for you guys to hopefully look into, have start to have conversations about now, and hopefully plan for. Um, one is around the governor's um, um, safe plans of care that are actually starting to roll out where we're identifying um, infants who may have been exposed to any type of substance during birth. Um, I think since this is just beginning to roll out within the state, these are conversations we need to start having now if this is uh, legalized because it will have um, either a negative or positive effect on pregnant mothers. Um, the other thing I would like you guys to start looking at are child protective services laws. Um, one woman who was here earlier mentioned um, reporting. I am a social worker and therefore I am a mandated reporter and if I call my county children and youth agency with a scenario about a mother who is using marijuana, I am mandated by law to make a report on that family. So these are things we should start looking at as well. Um, the final thing I would like you guys to start looking at are um, excuse me, potential or possible uh, or additional supports that may be needed for our educational systems around us. Um, I believe that it is basically an issue around teenagers having access or use. We already know it's a problem now. We already know that we have systems in place, but we need to be aware that we're going to continue to need those systems in place to address those issues. So cross-systems um, cross approach um, and infrastructure, making sure those infrastructures are in place. Because as a social worker, I always respond to crisis. And with this, hopefully we can be proactive so that we don't have to respond to crisis when they, excuse me, when they come up. So cross-systems approach with Department of Human Services, looking at our pregnant moms, child protective services law, and then cross-systems cross -systems approach with Department of Education. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Chris Mason. I'm with the Pennsylvania Bikers for Justice. Our organization is for the legalization of marijuana. I could repeat all these good answers, all these good points. Uh, no one is advocating that children use drugs. No one's advocating they use cigarettes or alcohol, but they're available. Uh, people can go into their parents' medicine cabinets and get anything they want. Uh, I think it's just time to stop this injustice and this fraudulent prohibition on marijuana. I would remind you that as an elected official, that's your job to enact the will of the people, and overwhelmingly, as you can see, and you will find in the next 66 counties, the people of Pennsylvania want this ended. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, what a, what a great event. You know, we had a couple hundred people here, and we had a, a great conversation. We had uh, uh, many people that were pro, we had some people that were opposed, we had some people that were in the middle. And that's exactly what we want. We are going to all 67 counties, and, and uh, may they all go as smoothly and respectfully and as civilly as this did. It was, a, it was an incredible event. That's probably all I need. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you.